Yes, um, hello everybody, I'm Mashid Torkan. I'm from Iran, 35 years old. Um, my main language mother tongue is Farsi and I learned English at school. And the third language I speak is Urdu, which I am a self-taught in that language. This is Kahani Man. Man live Khoshi Keliye. Man enjoy Zendagi Ka. Man Dustaram start in Kobachande or end Ruz Ka Hasne Kesad. Besazamek cheerful Ruz. Even Batarin Day, Mah Mishavat, Torasa shouldn't void Kesad. Motto Man is Ba Ek Boon Ki Enthusiasm or Hayajan Kuch Be Amazing Mishavat. Man live Jazbe Kesad. جو برینگز رضایت ایتس ا بلیس از طرف خدا جو مین ریسیو با لذت خوشبینی از مای فخر آی تریمف برای هر کامیابی اند لذت میبرم از دی پلیژر ایت برینگز وی چوز دی پارت آی وانت تو دو اوبویسلی ایت واز ان انگلیش سو دی فرست تینگ آی دید از تو رید ترو اند تری تو اندرستاند وات از دی فیلینگ اوت دیر and then um, I translated into my own mother tongue, which is obviously the easier way. But coming up to the point that sometimes you get the sentences not quite right, or you get some words that is looking so maybe long, or not maybe quite the same feelings or the same meanings you want to get, find out which verbs are the right one, which type of the sentences, because like it's, one sentence in lang in English, and when you put the second part on that, it's totally different way of saying it in the other language. Um, I had to uh, try to get the help from Google and translate, which even made it worse. Um, but as the project was a mix of everything, that helped me, and um, so I decided to use the verb mostly in English, or only use the verb in the other language if I exactly know what is that and how is that say, says. So I make sure that I'm saying the right thing and then just use the, the actual um, maybe um, explanations or some words that it comes to together as a fluent talking. I obviously feel more comfortable in my language talking about my mm, culture, my um, education system, my family and um, funny enough because um, Urdu was something that I loved it myself and I'm, I discovered it myself It's because emotionally I was attached uh, through songs and I was feeling that the poetic way of emotional and music and the, the sound of the, um, the poets and um, combination of that was like a secret uh, type of emotional expression for myself. So whenever I want to express myself in how I feel, I actually um, prefer to sing it in a song in Urdu. And I don't know much about my own language in terms of expressing my feelings. I found it very um, exciting at the beginning, I must confess, because I never thought about you know, really using one sentence in so many different words at the same time. I um, feel it's expressive in a way because there is no particular meaning when you listen to that. You may get only one word or in the whole sentence and just feeling like, well, what's that mean? Um, but I believe the tonal, the tonal of the voice will help a lot to understand the concept of what is it talking about. And that's why I chose the, the joy, because I feel like it's more matching with my own personality. So even though people might not understand what I'm saying, it might be understandable through my tone of voice. 